Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, my videos are made strictly for adults who are 18 years and older. So thank you so much for respecting that. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the Fresh Fruit Friday collab. And I am so excited to share my first project with you guys for the month of June. As a reminder, as you guys know, every single Friday for the month of June, I will be sharing a project with you guys. The Fresh Fruit Friday collab is hosted by Tell Him Thank You here on the YT. Make sure you check out my intro video that I posted earlier than the week. So that way you'll know what's going on for this collab. And I hope you also choose to play along as well. So I will be having giveaways for the month of June. You never know which video I'm going to choose from the Fresh Fruit Friday collab because I will be choosing a winner from one of the videos that you guys watch and comment down below. And I will give you more information as time go on. But just make sure that you are watching and also um, sharing some love of the other collaborators who are also in the Fresh Fruit Friday collab as well. So now I want to go ahead and share some of the different products that I used to create my first project for this wonderful collab. So one of the items that I used was this right here. This is a embossing folder. This is the mason jar. And I was really, really happy to pull this out. I love this mason jar. The size of it is everything. I got this a long time ago and I was um, excited to be able to pull out some of those um, different items that I had in my stash. One of the other items that I am going to be using in this project as well is this awesome Spellbinders Market Fresh Make My Lemon Lime die set. So I did use this as well. In addition to that, I also use this right here, which is Aren't You Sweet, which is the Market Fresh dies, which are strawberries in this design. And these are the dies on the back here. So now on for my project. So the project that I created is called a fresh fruit recipe folio. This is what I chose to make and I'm so excited. This idea came to me and I just could not shake it. And I'm so excited that I went ahead and went with my idea because I'm really, really excited the way this turned out. Um, what I've done here is I use some heavy 110 pound cardstock to make this um, folio happen. And so I have some different fruits displayed on the front of this folio and I also titled it Fresh Fruit Recipes. So that's what this is here. And on the front, you will also notice that I use a little bit of the Distress Offside um, ink, which is the tumble glass to basically share and show you some of my jar in the background there. And then I also have a little strawberry at the top. Now this strawberry is magnetized. So I place the strawberry here to give it um, a really nice, delicious look here. And so you can do this two ways. You can slide this sleeve off or I can unfasten it on the back. This is the back here and I also use some of those different tab dots, the Velcro dots here. And so you can see that, how that's made. And so when I release this off of here, you can slide it right down and as you can see, there is fruit already inside the mason jar. Isn't that beautiful? I just absolutely love this. This just takes me back so my back back in my days when I was younger, I love fruit in a jar. You can add some lemonade to this if you want to, or you can just eat it straight from the jar if you choose to. I just love that. So when you open this folio up, you see the strawberry on the front there. And there's a strawberry also on the other side. So that is magnetized, which I absolutely love. I want to do something different. First, when I first created this, I was thinking about adding a paper clip, but I really didn't want the paper clip to um, hang down. So I wanted to create something that was unique and different, and I don't really play with magnets much, but I really like the way this turned out. Now, I did make the strawberry extra thick, just like chipboard, so that way this will last a very long time. So when you open it up, you will see that I also have the mason jar look right there as well. You can see how it's embossed, and I have my first image right here with lemons in the front. Now I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to share with you what that looks like. So 
this is the mason jar with the lemons in the inside and what I've done is I've also used a little bit of the tumble glass distressed outside ink around the mason jar here I've sliced out the lemons using that dye set that I shared with you and also creating a few little water droplets using some of the gems that I have in my stash as well um, so when you open this up it has the ingredients for lemon parfaits so it shows you what you need for the ingredients and also it shows you the preparation to make that recipe so I love the way that turned out and then I also added a lemon slice as well inside that mason jar to add a little color so that's the first one there the next one is blueberries now when I asked my family what it looked like to them I guess I pretty much set it up to look like grapes so it may look like grapes to some of you guys, but they are blueberries because blueberries do come on bundles as well. But most of the time you buy them in the store, you see them without the stems a lot of times and they're just in a little packaging. But when I was growing up, we had blueberries galore in our backyard and people would come by the bucket loads and fill them up. My mother made the best blueberry pie and she still does to this day. And this is what made me do a blueberry design. So I have my mason jar here with some of the stacked leaves layered up. And then this little vine holding the blueberries down here in the mason jar. And then when you open this up, we have the blueberry pie recipe. And so here are some of the ingredients here and the directions how to make the blueberries along with the flu, uh, few blueberries also inside of the mason jar. And next up, we have strawberries and so strawberries are so delicious I love them in smoothies I love them on pies I just love strawberries and so these are filled in the mason jar as well almost to the rim of the jar and when you open this up you also have a strawberry and this is a strawberry smoothie right here it shows you the ingredients and then also how to prepare that strawberry smoothie so again you can see the mason jar in the background I just love the way this turned out. I'm just really pleased with this wonderful fresh fruit folio that I created. I love this. And then I also created some extra cards inside of this fresh fruit folio so I can add more recipes at a later time if I choose to. So they just have the embossed look for the mason jars you can see. And you can add as you choose to. And then all you do is just close it right back up. And that's it. So there's my folio right there. So I want to thank you guys so much for taking our time to watch this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the fresh fruit recipe in this folio that I have created. And I'm just loving the strawberry. It's just everything. Now, in this video here, I would like you to comment down below using, let me know what is your favorite fruit in this video. And that's all you have to tell me. My favorite fruit is, and then just complete that. Um, and then, you know, again, I will be choosing one of the videos in this collab just um, one time in this month for June and that way I can come back and see who wanted to be a part of that so all you have to do in this video is be a visible, sus visible subscriber be 18 years and older and also comment down below and let me know what is your favorite fruit down in the comments below that will let me know that you would like to be a part of the giveaway now I'm not saying that this video is going to be the one that I choose I'm just letting you guys know that I need to know who would like to play along and also make sure that you are also in the U.S. because I will be sending my prizes out to someone in the U.S. I will not be able to do international right now because the postage is a little bit higher. So I want to thank you guys so much for definitely coming along and being a part of the Fresh Fruit Friday collab. Make sure you check out the other collaborators here in the description box because their channels and names will be listed down below. In addition to that, I have an Instagram page which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. And I want to thank you guys for being a part of this Fresh Fruit Friday. Make sure you check us out again next Friday for another wonderful project share. And you guys continue to be blessed as always. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Bye-bye.